How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and Game of Thrones. Uh, let's just get right back into this. I can't wait. It should be Two on the... Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Oh. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Good. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, fuck. <sighs> oh, that's disgusting. That's pretty bad. Oh, that's even worse. That's, that's not nice. Thank God for modern medicines. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Avenge Roderick them. and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young. And altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. I can't tell him, can I? Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. He would not be walking on that leg. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is my house. Ah, oh, you know, I've forgotten. I've forgotten. He told me who I could share it with. You know, the, the information. Tell no one but... Ah, oh, was it him? Medical supplies. Let's have a look. Bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Ew. What we got here? Bandages. Just steal them. It's all, it's all good. Healing herbs. Pick those up as well. This might help. Yeah. Steal the man's iPhone whilst you're at it. Talk to... Show sword to... Hmm. You seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior loot. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. 
Oh dear. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Hey, ladies! Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yep. Yeah, they did. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? I'm gonna give her the he sword. Me to oh my god! This to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. But I of avoided course, that question. My lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. I think I just made a mistake, Duncan, didn't I? This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. 
It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Oh, God. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the what? boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now. Okay. The house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm, I'm not going afraid. to the wall. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Holy shit. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I'm going to the wall. I can't believe it. I didn't do anything wrong. But if I stay, I'm probably dead, right? Oh, my God. All these choices. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you put in the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. God, it's just like Jon Snow when I've he left I've been waiting there. for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. Yeah, this is he it. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. I should have given him the sword, shouldn't I? Shit. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Lady Forrester asked, but I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. What is it? But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Can't believe I'm going to the wall. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. And off I go. Garrett, wait! Oh god, don't make me cry, seriously. <laughs> Be safe. Be safe. Oh my god, so we've been sent to the wall for my protection, really, Ethan? I guess. Ethan, is it? Oh, another boy king. That went well, really well, didn't it, the last time? I couldn't find him. Could you? He 
hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. I'm gonna make him a nice kid. <laughs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gad to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Dr. Yeah. Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> yeah, you can't fight for shit, mate. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a Lord. I'll we'll have to have both, I'm afraid. So I'll have to make him good to keep my promise but to her. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. <laughs> lord Ethan. You're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Please don't make me just send that boy to his death. Because <laughs> that would make me just God. Okay, so th this boy is now the Lord, like the King, you know, Forrester, whatever. And this is going to be his first big sort of confrontation. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. 
Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Oh, shit. It's about to go down. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but Thank to his you. family. I'm not shaking his hand, I'm sorry. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Fucking spit at me! My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me. But it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? God. I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you I'm better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Fucking right. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a, You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Oh, you just got owned, son. 
probably going to regret most of that. <laughs> Holy shit. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> wow. 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 As Christopher Walken would say. <laughs> oh, I love this story. I know there's not much gameplay. Um, but it's just like the Walking Dead games, I guess. Uh, it's just the story. It's a story-driven, you know, point-and-click action adventure. So um, I, I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, you know, click the like button. Uh, if you enjoyed it, it lets me know that you're enjoying it. Um, I think the story is great. It's I feel dead set in the Game of Thrones world. A lot is happening. So much is happening. Oh my god. I, I just, uh, I think maybe I chose a few wrong decisions there. Because it just completely changes the outcome of the rest of the game. So, uh, But anyway, uh, that's part two of um, episode one of season one. There's <laughs> a lot going on. But like, love and caress my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Don't worry about like Far Cry and stuff like that. Um, it's coming. And also, I've got a big, big video. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get it out tomorrow. Um, I can't tell you just yet, but it's, it's going to be big. So uh, look out for that. And uh, stay dazzling. <laughs>